they devastated after her breakup with Big Sean? Oh, no. and Cameron Dallas is making his rap debut. What? And is Zayn Malik on his way to being a big time actor? It's going to be a crazy show on today's Rundown. Hey, hey, you guys, you are back at DHR. I'm Dana Ward, hanging out with Erin Robinson. Yeah, we have a lot to talk about. Kind of a weird mixed bag of a show. Uh, kicking things Ooh. off with Selena Gomez in a towel. Yes, Selena Gomez has stripped down to a towel for the towel series. This is a photograph series by um, Mario Testino. These are beautiful photos, black and white. He basically asks celebrities to get into towels and he takes photos. And Selena seems to be really happy with the photo because she posted it to her Instagram. Beautiful. And classy. Someone that you also might want to see in a towel is Mr. Cameron Dallas, who you know is a YouTube and Viner star. He's taking on the world of rapping and it's kind of something you have to hear to believe. Yeah. Yeah, she might get ratchet, but she knows she bad, though. She knows she bad, though. She knows she bad. Okay, so this song is called She Bad, and it was this was, of course, the lyric video. It dropped on Sunday. And get this, it's already racked up over a million views and has made it into the iTunes Top 10. Not too bad for a rap debut. The power of online personality. For sure. Right? Something else that is huge and trending all over the internet is the hashtag Kylie Jenner challenge. Um, if you haven't taken it, you know, maybe don't. Uh, kids, do not try this at home. Basically, people are trying to mimic the full lips that Kylie has been seen rocking over the past year by putting their lips into a shot glass or a container. and sucking the air out of it and the results are absolutely ridiculous. Disgusting. And kids and teens and I should say adults too, I think everyone's getting in on this challenge, seem to be actually injuring their lips. We're talking about splitting lips open, bruising of lips. So you know what, I think you should not do this. I mean if you want big lips you guys just walk around like this. It's walk so like safe and easy to do. Or do what Kylie does, she just puts lip liner all, all over her face her lips. And, it, and then do this too with that and you'll have the biggest lips ever. And we have a little update on some Zayn Malik news. Now despite mm -hmm. the fact that he left One Direction recently to become a normal 22 year old, right? we are finding out that Zayn has been meeting with a couple of people in Hollywood <gasps> about becoming an actor. So in an interview with The Mirror, director Grinder Chada, who directed Bend It Like Beckham, told them, quote, we've met, speaking of her and Zayn, and spoken. He's trained as an actor first and then became part of the band. So I think what he'll be doing is staying true to his heart and that's all you can ever do. She also says she doesn't have a specific project in mind for Zayn, mm -hmm. but I'm, something tells me if Zayn wants to be an actor, it won't be long before we see him on the big screen. He can be an actor, and I don't know if you saw this this morning, but Louis Tomlinson apparently is starting his own record label. So it seems like the guys are maybe starting to separate a little bit. You gotta make plans. You do have to make plans, but not before we get this fifth studio album. For sure. Please. Also in What's Trending, Rihanna was a bridesmaid over the weekend, and I am just obsessed with these photos. Yeah! Um, she was supporting her friend and assistant by the name of Jennifer Morales. They were in Hawaii, lots of tropical pics, but I don't know, it just like makes me laugh inside seeing Rihanna, like a huge star as a bridesmaid. Yeah, to her assistant. I actually yeah. think this says a lot about her character, that she's a really good person. I don't know a lot of big famous celebrities who would come be bridesmaids good for their for assistants. Her. We love you, Rihanna, and I would love to see you wear that bridesmaid's dress again. It's really kind of cute, I liked it. And in more rapping news, Taylor Ooh. Swift is rapping yet again, and we couldn't be more excited. So Taylor seems to steal the spotlight at award shows without even being at award shows. Case in point, last night at the Times Center in New York, the Shorty Awards happened where they kind of celebrate the best in social media mm -hmm. and Taylor won for best singer for her social media presence. And she wasn't there to accept the award, but she did sing in a video. Guys, when I first was told about the news that I had won a Shorty Award, I felt really conflicted because I'm very tall, I did not understand. My second thought, just for the record, was, Shorty wanna ride with me, ride with me, we can get low, can't, 
stop it, stop it, stop it, you're in public. And thanks for being so amazing and organized and like, like a great fan base. I love that she got really awkward. But she was still grateful, but like you could tell she's just still a normal person. How do you become such a big celebrity and still be normal? She's the best and she knows how to work the camera. She, she connects via camera. She's a comedian. That was, that was funny. Yeah. Congrats. Okay, we're switching gears, you guys. Top story today is sad news. It's all about breakups. breakups. I know. Who are you kicking her off Okay, with? so yesterday we told you that Ariana Grande and Big Sean, they called it quits due to the fact that they're both busy working right now, which we totally get. Mm -hmm. But if you think that Ariana is upset about this and brokenhearted, trust me, she's not. She actually went to social <laughs> media and said to her fans, quote, I love you, babe, so much. You're a bunch of angels. Honestly, your love cares appreciated so much. I'm good. I promise. And on top of that, she was posting all kinds of photos on set of Scream Queens, which we know she's going to be Can't on. Um, so she's in good spirits. And I think this has to do with the fact that their split was amicable. And I feel like they're going to get back together. And Big Sean, he's back to work too. He was on uh, Jimmy Fallon last night doing a One Man Can Change the World performance. And he was having a great time. So I think they're happy. And I think that they're going to get back together. They broke up and they're happy. I was totally not expecting <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. And They're happy. Made me laugh. Yeah. You'd expect her to be all depressed and stuff, but she's not. She's a big star. Also in breakup news, not sure if you guys heard, this went down uh, the other day as well. Miley and Patrick broke up and it's confirmed to People Magazine. Um, it's amicable from what we hear and a source close to the couple said that it's not a break and that the relationship is indeed over, adding that they're just in two different places in their lives. He's obviously in college and she's focused on her career. Um, I just hope this means that there's new music from Miley Cyrus. Like maybe she's inspired by what went down to write some new songs I know. and then we'll get to hear them. And they were only together for five months. So, I mean, I'm sure it still hurts, but I feel like after the whole Liam breakup, I think that she's probably going to be okay yeah. after this one. And they were engaged. I know. Like, that, that was, was a, a big serious deal. breakup. So, you know, we're sending our love to all of the heartbreakers and heart broken people out there, not just in Hollywood, but to all of you. So the Academy of Country Music Awards were over the weekend. Mm -hmm. There was so much fashion, we can Good barely stand too. it. I'm picking for my OOTD today mm -hmm. two ladies who were on the carpet, Sofia Vergara and Reese Witherspoon, who were coordinating kind in sparkling black dresses. Obviously, they're there promoting their upcoming movie, Hot Pursuit. Sophia was kind of wearing this peplum detailed number by Beyond Fashion House, and Reese was in a David Coma crystal embroidered Ooh. mini. They kind of look like rock stars, I'm not gonna lie. I love Reese's dress. So cool. So fabulous. Someone else who was looking really fabulous at the show was Taylor Swift, of course. Yes. We expect no less from her. She was wearing this powder blue Reem Acra gown. I think the cutouts are in all the right places. It's sexy, it's sophisticated. Her hair, as simple as it is, looks fabulous. And I love that front panel. The detailing is gorgeous. And um, congrats to her. She also won the Milestone Award yeah. and had the whole emotional speech, which we already covered on DHR the other day. But yeah, she's a queen. Wonderful. And I love that bandeau thing. It's so cute. So cool. It's like a built-in bra. Cameron Dallas, should he be rapping? Let us know, you guys. And be honest. What do you think? Also, we want to know, have you done the Kylie Jenner challenge? Oh my gosh, don't, Please, don't, don't do, do it. it. We're not encouraging that. If you already have, send us pictures. No, it hurts me to look at them. I can't, I I can't even look at them. Like, it hurts. Don't do that to yourself. Because they're hurting. They are hurting. And do you want to see Zayn Malik act? I do. I think he'd be a great actor, honestly. But that won't be normal. Let's, but. let's support all of these stars and what they do. Just weigh Shall in, we? you guys. Chat it out like crazy in the comments below. Just tear up the keyboard doing it. And uh, we'll be back here on the DHR, the Dur, the Daily Hollywood Rundown tomorrow. That's right. See you later. And if you're still with us, it means you want some more Dur. And we chatted all about Harry Styles possibly leaving 1D. Oh my gosh, oh look to the left. Oh my gosh, and on the box on the right, Selena Gomez what? is tearing up some haters about her bikini body. She's beautiful and I love it. So click in the box on the right for Go that. Selena.